Hey guys, AJ here giving you the final update on the 45 gallon reef tank. The uh, rimless cube that we got, this is going to be the final part of the equipment. Um, as well as I want to show you guys the final aquascape I came up with after uh, some trial and error over the last couple weeks. Uh, so first things first, obviously you guys will show I chose to use the Ecotech Radeon XR15 as my uh, light source. Um, I'm a huge fan of LEDs just because they're cool. I like the ability to adjust them and that's where the Senai will come into play. Um, and I like the fact that there's really no running costs other than the cost of electricity to use them. So the reason why I went with the XR15 is I was actually trying to find a used XR30 um, for a decent price. Um, my budget was $350, and unfortunately I couldn't find one. Uh, I was considering going with the Gen 4, however, I really didn't feel like spending $400 on a light, so I did locate a Gen 3 Pro on eBay. I got it for just under $300 after shipping. Um, this is the unit here. Uh, the previous owner bought it to set up a reef tank and then never set one up according to him. And when I got this, it was actually all still sealed in, in the box. So yes, it was used, but it's never been used. Um, what I will be using to uh, mount the light is the uh, RMS system by uh, Ecotech Learning. Never used it, so um, but it looks really clean from what I have seen in my local fish stores and stuff like that. Um, I think it's gonna look really good on this tank, especially because I think it would look kind of odd just hanging a single fixture like this from the ceiling. Um, it, just having four cables in, in close proximity to each other just wouldn't look that good. Also, I've got vaulted ceilings in the front living room where it's at, which add, uh, adds its own set of challenges. Um, what I'm going to be using to tune the light is my Senai, um, which you'll see here on my computer. I'll be using that to set it, uh, to tune it. I will be going with the, the Coral Lab um, program. I think on this thing I set it up for the LPS uh, program on um, the other one I'm doing the SPS plus um, just because that was the 75 is going to be more of a uh, SPS dominant tank and this is going to be a little bit more of a reef, uh, mixed reef um, so we're going to go ahead and get this set up and installed um, one last thing I am, I am going to also share with you guys is uh, I don't know if you guys watched Volk Reef Supplies video about their uh, Cato Morpha testing a couple weeks ago um, I found it interesting especially because I do have an adjustable LED on the refugium and I did use my Senai to basically take some readings that came out to what they are similar to what they came out with or what their results were and I will be happy to show those with you guys here in a little bit. Alright so let's go get this stuff installed on the tank. Alright guys here we are at the tank and as you see we've got the uh, Radeon mounted. Um, I do have it set to 70% intensity. I will be turning that down after this video um, but I simply wanted to show you guys the rockscape and give you guys some par readings using the uh, Senai. Um, so obviously I like the way the RMS works. I think it's a very clean design. Um, it holds the light. It's very sturdy. Super easy to assemble. Very impressed with it. Um, the only thing I don't really like, and I'm pretty sure Ecotech probably did this on purpose, is how it kind of slats down towards the front. I mean as you see it's super firm on the bracket there. Um, they probably did that so that way if you're down below looking up, you're not getting blinded by the light. Um, I personally would just prefer to see something a little more level um, for aesthetic appeal. But anyway, so I'm very happy with the way this uh, tank looks. As you see, I've got the Senai monitor in there. I'm going to go over some par readings. But real quick, I want to go ahead and show you guys the new aquascape I came up with. I got rid of a lot of the rock. And um, on my aquascaping video, CJ from CJ's Aquariums actually said, you know what? You got to get down and dirty with it and I kind of knew that going into it and after seeing how awesome his aquascape came out on his 120 I decided to put a little bit more effort into mine. Um, so I took out a bunch of those big pieces that I had in there and then I got a chisel and started chiseling away. Um, you'll see this piece right here, I chiseled the cave into it and it looks so much more natural along as, as well as chiseling some other pieces and then even the piece on top, that's actually two pieces of rock. I uh, essentially chiseled this piece to form to this one on the left. Um, this gives me obviously a lot more caves to swim through. I don't have as much real estate for corals, but I, it just looks a lot better in my mind. Um, and I'm very happy with the way this one came out. This is absolutely the permanent rock structure. I do still need to get some epoxy to firm this up because I remember that shelf is a little loose. 
but this changes my uh, my opinion on Pukani Rock. Um, definitely happy with the rock. I, I liked how easy it was to manipulate as far as with the chisel and Dremel and things like that. So um, I hope you guys like the new walk escape as well. Let's go ahead and get into the the nitty gritty here. Um, we'll be using the Senai. Let me get my computer. We're just gonna go ahead and. All right, guys. I got the computer. Went ahead and just set it up on the tank. Sorry, I had to. Couldn't juggle two things with one hand. Um, so we got the Senai in there. Let's go ahead and take some readings. Um, and then I'll go over what's, what the readings are with my refugium. So we'll just go ahead and do right here first on the top top rock where there'll be some SPS. Go ahead and set it right underneath the radion there. And you'll see at 70%, I'm getting about 295, 288, 270 par. And then uh, of that usable spectrum, or sorry, that usable par, I'm getting 78%. Uh, so definitely some good readings there up top, which will be able to grow some SPS. We'll go down to the second shelf here, which is also a little bit further back, but and lower in the tank. And I'm getting 184 to 176, 180, 175. So that'll be good for you know some like Monty pours I could probably put up in there, um, especially again look at the 78% per. Um, and sorry, I'm moving it a little bit, so that's why the readings jumped way low there. Um, I could probably get some Montys, definitely some LPS in there. Let's go ahead and go down here towards like this real shadowed area where I plan on putting actually some Monty caps and having them played out. Uh, so. What's that? 60. Oh, 16 percent. Yeah, it's jumping around depending on how I hold the Senai. So actually, that's probably gonna be a little low. I'll probably have to put some softies there instead of some Montes, like I was thinking, or turn up the Radeon. Um, and then, as you see, it jumped up to like 130. So um, I'll keep an eye an eye on that section to see what works best there. And then right here in the front rock where I plan on putting my Zoas. Let's see. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and again, look at that. Look at that per guys. It's, it maintains around seventy-eight percent, which is pretty good. And then just some other readings around the tank. This is the back right, um, probably about six inches off the base. Good for some acans and some LPS corals. So, like I said, this is going to be a, a mixed reef tank, uh, mostly dominated by uh, LPS, and so I will be using the lower par levels. Um, more often than the higher par levels. Um, yeah, so as you see, I've got anything from like 16 to almost 300 par. Um, that's at 70% on the Radeon. Uh, once I get some corals actually in here and the tank's actually ready for corals, I'll probably kick it up to like 75, maybe 80%. Um, like I do my Radeons on the 75, I run them at 80%. So let me go ahead and show you guys um, what my refugium is doing as far as. Uh, par and per. Give me one second here guys. Alright guys, here we are down at the Refugium. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have watched Bulk Reef Supplies video on testing Kato, um, but basically they learned that uh, the best thing for photosynthesis is having high red and blue ends of the spectrum, um, which kind of gives you that purple hue, and the light they had the best results with was the Kessel H360 horticulture light, um, which had unbelievable amounts of par and per and was getting similar high blue and red uh, light uh, sources of light. Again, this is my cheap one I got off Amazon, guys, so I don't <clears throat> expect it to compare, or I'm sorry, I don't expect it to even compete with the Kessel because it's a much higher price point, higher quality light. But I did want to, I was kind of curious to see if this would be an affordable option. So you will see this is the, uh, the Nikru LED on the purple setting at full intensity. You'll see I do have high red and high blue uh, ends of the spectrum. Um, and you'll also notice my PER is at 82%, which is huge. Um, that kind of caught me by uh, surprise. That means of that 55 PAR, 82% of it, the Cato uh, and organisms in the refugium are able to process that into energy. Um, so I, I, I am excited to see how this light performs as far as uh, assisting my uh, nutrient, uh, as far as assisting my uh, filtration system. Um, again, it's not any, I'm not saying it's going to be a replacement for the Kessel, but it is just something to think about. 
Uh, the only thing I see here based on their testing is their Kessel got something like 1400 par. I'm going to get in like 52. And then they got 88 to 90 percent per. I'm getting 82. Again, which is very good, but the thing I'm mostly focusing on is the uh, light sources of light in the in, in the spectrum. So anyway, that's just some quick info on that. Okay, guys. So this is gonna do it for the uh, 45 gallon reef tank setup. This is the final equipment video and setup process. Um, I'm pretty sure the tank was cycled until I messed with the rock, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it continue to cure and cycle the rock for another month or so. Um, so it's gonna be a little while before I get some other videos out to you guys. But um, I do have some other ideas I wanna do as far as other videos, as well as uh, the 75 is gonna start getting a lot more coming our way. Um, I do have a trip coming up here at the end of May, and that's kinda of when my deadline is to start um, getting livestock for this tank or at least making purchases. Uh, I will be setting up a full coral and quarantine uh, fish quarantine system um, because after my last tank crash I'm not taking any risks. I'm sure you guys would appreciate that. But for more updates um, I would also like for you guys to comment and subscribe. Um, but for more updates go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, there will be more videos to come. Thanks guys.